In 2001, Microsoft released Windows XP, which some hail it as one of the greatest, or if not the greatest, operating system that has ever been developed by Microsoft. In 2009, Windows 7 was released. Again, another great operating system hailed by many. In 2015, Windows 10 was created. Once again, like all the previous two operating systems, people said that it was one of the greatest, or if not the greatest operating systems ever invented. It's 2024 now. We're gonna make everything different because we're thinking different. Do you see what it is? It's not gonna be called Windows 11 Pro or whatever, or Windows 12. Instead, we are calling it Windows MSP. <laughs> Upgrading to Windows MSP is easier than ever. Instead of having to install a disk or entering a product key, all you have to do is launch the executable file and you're already there. It's a beautiful startup screen with a beautiful menu. All the icons are already there and wait, hold up. Uh let me just uh ignore that. This is just uh you know, we're we're just fixing some bugs, but uh soon enough we are able to ship this to many countries around the world. And this new operating system will be readily available to be updated. It's just uh I'm just reboot it here. Uh as you can see, it reboots extremely fast. Okay, now it should be working. As you can see, it's everything that we are already familiar with. Familiar Microsoft Windows operating system feel, except, like I said, we reinvented the graphics. But it's still all there. It's still your familiar UI. You still have recycling bin. You still have a media player. And of course, the shutdown and the start button, and also a clock. It's all there. So whenever users can update from Windows 10 or 11 to this, they won't feel the need of having to get scared. Now let's take a look at the massive features of this new operating system. You can order food. What have you ever gotten onto your computer and you were thinking of ordering food? But let's say you didn't have any internet. Well, you can do just that with this new feature. It's so easy and simple to use. It's incredible. Now, of course, it depends on how many items are in stock. So uh, we got three loaves of bread here. So let's uh, get the first one. And sorry about that. Uh, like I said, we have to. We have many things that we're gonna bug fix. Okay. Another cool feature that we have is the media player. You can play anything you want. We have a very intricate design. We have a pause button and a play button. It's extremely simple. And you can play it at any time you wish. It's amazing. And <laughs> calm down. It's just a demo. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Anyway, another cool feature that we have is the help forums. In case you are not exactly the biggest techie in the world, you can always check out the help forums so that you can be informed on how to do things faster and quicker than before. So let me just load it up. And once again, it's completely offline. You don't have to have an internet to do this. You can access from a wide variety, a whopping three questions. That's three questions more than before. And that's amazing. So you can access many things and uh, oh shit, um, uh, 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 you didn't see anything. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Another cool feature that you can do is you can play games on it, like Minesweeper. And... 
Okay. Another awesome thing about this new operating system is the amount of storage that it holds. Remember when you'd always want like a terabyte SSD? Well, we're thinking differently, and we decided that we're not going to release any versions of Windows with a terabyte large SSD. Instead, we're going back to the old days of double-digit gigabytes, because that is what we firmly believe is best for a company. As you can see, we have a huge amount of storage, and it's extremely optimized. And you can easily delete any programs with ease. All you just need is the click of a button, and you can instantly, you can instantly, de you can instantly delete, you can instantly delete everything, which is amazing if you want to free up space. As you can see, we have 98 megabytes of storage. This program right here takes up 14.9 gigabytes of storage. All I have to do now is press this button, and we're. <laughs>